Old Alabama Gardener on growing our plants for our hydroponic buckets. We're going to need some kind of planting tray, so simplest thing to do is just make one out of a quart uh, milk container. And this one will hold 10 of the rock wool cubes that we're going to use for growing. We're going to use rock wool cubes to plant our seeds, and this is what a rock wool cube looks like. Just a little square thing. It looks like wool, but it's not. It's actually expanded rock. Uh, a block of 10 rock wool cubes just fits our homemade planting tray. It's actually easier to break the blocks apart right now before we have plants in them. After you get the plants in them and you start breaking them, there's a chance you might damage the plant. We're going to plant about two seeds in each uh, of the uh, rock wool blocks, so I'm sprinkling some out here. Now notice on the left side I'm going to put a good big drop of water. Each time I want to pick up a seed, I dip the knife blade or just the tip of the blade in water, and then the seed will stick to it very easy, and I can rake it off in the hole of the rock wool block. Okay, so you get the idea. You want to put seeds in each of the holes of the rock wool block. Now you can put more seeds in there if you want to and then remove the ones that you don't want later. And I would do that if my seed package was, say, a year or maybe even longer old. Okay, then fill each hole with vermiculite. Vermiculite is really a light, light, lightweight material and it will help the seeds uh, come through very easily. Okay, you get the idea, so I'm going to speed it up. And now we need to give it a good watering. We don't want water standing in the tray. We just want the rock wool blocks to be soaked as well as the perlite. In three to four days, uh, you should have seedlings coming up as you see the little green parts in these uh, uh, rock wool blocks right here. You need to keep them in a warm place, maybe uh, 74, 75 degrees, and you need to have them under grill lights 12 hours a day on and 12 hours off. After about six or seven days, you should have some roots showing at the bottom as we're showing with this cube right here. And so now we're ready to go into the net cup. So you just take the rock wool cube, push it down into the net cup until it comes uh, firmly against the bottom. Kind of snug it down a little bit if you want to. And that's it. So here we have our prepared bucket and the water and fertilizer mixture is uh, at the right level. The pH is at the right level. And now we're ready to set the net cup with the plant into the grow bucket. About two weeks later, uh, this is what you'll have. This is a little lettuce plant. And about 30 to 35 days later, this is what you'll have. A larger lettuce plant. As I slide a ruler underneath it, you'll see that we've got a plant that's a good 10, 11 inches uh, across. Now let's look at the roots.
Notice uh, there's no algae growing in that water, and that's what we want. Next is a strawberry plant that I dug up about a month ago from out in the garden and I washed all the dirt off of the roots, put it in a net cup and set it in a grow bucket and you can see what it's doing. 